Street Fighter brings to life the beloved video game series of the same title, with Jean-Claude Van Damme portraying the stalwart Colonel William Guile. The narrative centers on Guile's intense confrontation with General Mr. Bison, a notorious ex-drug lord, notorious for initiating a hostage crisis. Rather than capitulate to Bison's demands for ransom, Guile resolves to pursue him relentlessly, seeking to uphold justice and restore order. In the climactic showdown between the two adversaries, Bison initially gains the upper hand, even surviving electrocution. However, Guile summons his strength and delivers a decisive blow, propelling Bison into a monitor wall which explodes upon impact, ultimately vanquishing Bison and securing victory for Guile. In the movie Time Cop, Van Damme plays the role of Max Walker, an operative for the Time Enforcement Commission. In 2004, Walker uncovers disturbing revelations. Senator McComb, who runs the TEC, is using time manipulation to enrich his political ambitions. Transported back to 1994, Walker clashes with McComb and his associates. The ensuing confrontation, in which Walker shows resourcefulness with a wrench and demonstrates chilling temporal implications, culminates in a narrow escape back to the present day. In Hard Target, Jean-Claude Van Damme plays the role of Chance Bordreau, a former Marine, when he meets Natasha, who is looking for her father. Using his military experience, he quickly deals with Natasha's attackers. Bordreau neutralizes three of the attackers, before finally incapacitating the fourth by throwing him through the window of the diner. The altercation ends with him breaking his arm over the shoulder of the fourth attacker. Double Impact, 1991. Van Damme plays two brothers, Chad and Alex Wagner, who got split up when their parents died. When they meet again 25 years later, they don't click. Alex's girlfriend, Danielle, mixes up Chad for Alex, which makes the brothers clash. They end up in a fight all over the place, and eventually, Alex grabs Chad, and they both crash through a wooden railing, tumbling to the floor below. It's a quick fight compared to others Van Damme has done, but seeing two Jean-Claude Van Damme's fighting is still pretty cool. In Maximum Risk, Van Damme takes on the roles of twins, Alain Moreau and Mikhail Suvorov, who were split up when they were born. After Mikhail dies, Alain tries to uncover what happened to his twin. He visits the lawyer who adopted Mikhail, but finds the office burning. Alain gets attacked by a Russian guy, and they end up in a big fight. At one point, Alain almost gets thrown out of a window but swings back in and tosses the guy into the fire. Then he grabs the adoption papers and leaves. The main villain of Death Warrant is a serial killer who calls himself the Sandman. After the Sandman kills his partner, Detective Louis Burke, played by Van Damme, confronts and shoots him. A year later, Burke infiltrates an undercover prison to investigate a series of murders. Sandman is transferred to the same prison as a new inmate, which leads to a confrontation between him and Burke. At first, the Sandman gains the upper hand, but Burke manages to regain control of him by pushing him into a hot cauldron. When the Sandman emerges from the cauldron, badly burned, Burke deals him a fatal blow that causes him to hit a valve stem and die. Lionheart sees Van Damme as Lion Gaultier, a French Foreign Legion soldier who deserts in order to see his dying brother in Los Angeles. Arriving in New York City with no money, Lion joins an illegal fighting ring and is dubbed Lion Heat. Lion's final fight is against Attila, a merciless fighter who likes to give a false sense of hope before ultimately defeating his opponents. Lion, suffering from a broken rib, is easily taken down but rises back up after learning that his friend bet against him. He handily defeats Attila but spares the man's life. Sudden death takes place during Game 7 of the Stanley Cup between the Pittsburgh Penguins and Chicago Blackhawks. Most of the action takes place within the Penguins' civic arena, so Van Damme's character, Darren McCord, ends up fighting the mascot. Carla, a member of a terrorist organization planning on blowing up the arena, disguises herself as Iceberg in order to kill Darren. The Penguin disguise adds a weird sense of humor to the fight scene as McCord has to fend off the attacks of Iceberg. He does win the day, however, burning Carla's hand in a fry basket and killing her by kicking her onto the dishwasher conveyor belt. Van Damme and Lundgren star as reanimated soldiers who were cryogenically frozen after an incident in the Vietnam War. Luke Devereaux and Andrew Scott, played by Van Damme and Lundgren respectively, are to be used in the Unisol program, an anti-terrorism unit. Devereaux remembers his past, despite the serum used to suppress those memories, and remembers how Scott went insane and killed innocent civilians, as well as their fellow soldiers. In the final battle, Devereaux is losing due to Scott's use of muscle enhancers. Devereaux manages to take the rest of the enhancers from Scott and use them himself, putting them on an even playing field. Devereaux then kicks Scott onto the tines of a hay harvester and turns it on, killing him. The part of Frank Ducks in Bloodsport was Van Damme's breakout role. 
Dux, having been trained in ninjutsu by Senzo Tanaka, enters into the Kumite, an illegal martial arts tournament. Dux gains the attention of the former Kumite champion, Chong Li, after Dux breaks Li's record for fastest defeat of an opponent. The final fight of the film is between Dux and Li. Li cheats by crushing a salt pill and blinding Dux with it, as Dux had been winning. Dux, however, was trained by Tanaka to fight blindfolded, so he uses his other senses in order to defeat Li. Dear friends, if you are tantalized by exciting action movies featuring famous martial arts masters, we have a special offer for you. In the new video, we will talk about the top 30 actors of this genre, including legends like Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, and others. Discover exciting moments from their masterpiece movies. Share in the comments who you most appreciate or who you think should have been included in this list. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and go on an exciting adventure with the great martial arts masters.